Today we learn something about tetanus. Channel's name is Heartbeat. My name is Dr. Amit Gijira. So recently I've got many questions from my patients who ask me about tetanus vaccine should we take or shouldn't we take and this video is meant to clear some doubts about it. Tetanus vaccination can be used in children and adults. And vaccination with tetanus toxide is the best way to prevent tetanus. In our day to day life, we do get injuries during our day to day activities. So, vaccination with tetanus toxide is the best way to prevent tetanus. Now, we have to just see who people, which are the people in whom tetanus vaccination is advisable. So, complete primary vaccination with tetanus toxide gives long-lasting protection for greater than 10 years in most people. And since the protection is for 10, you get 10 years at least, booster doses are required every 10 years. More frequent doses are not required and not recommended. Booster doses. Use only for people who have caused their seventh birthday. And main name is prevention of neonatal tetanus in unvaccinated pregnant women. Of course, tetanus vaccine may not protect 100% of susceptible individuals. Injection tetanus toxide in the unvaccinated. An adult who has never been given vaccinated before should be given three shots of vaccination. In the world, still we get many people who have not taken a single dose of tetanus toxide in their life. So they should be given three shots of vaccine. First two doses should be four to six weeks apart. Third dose, six to 12 months after the second dose. And booster dose after every 10 years. Injection tetanus toxide in pregnancy. Main aim is to prevent tetanus in newborns. Two doses of injection tetanus toxide are advised in each pregnancy. However, if the next pregnancy occurs within three years of the first pregnancy, single booster dose is advisable. And may be given even if the mother is lactating. So just suppose a mother has received two tetanus toxides in the pregnancy and later on she is lactating and she has a serious injury, then still a single booster dose may be given to the mother, even if she's lactating. Or if she is not taken in pregnancy, it can still be given in lactating. And injection TT after injury. If wounds are minor and uncontaminated, then to be given only after every 10 years. And if the wounds are major or contaminated and the person has not received vaccination in last five years, booster dose may be given. Wounds that have been contaminated with feces or saliva are required vaccination. These are the risk factors, burns, crush injuries, wounds that do dead tissue and puncture wounds. These are the wounds which occur and people require vaccination more commonly if they have these. So wounds that have contaminated with saliva. Again, saliva, nobody gets it easily. It is like when they punch into each other's face, the teeth of one person burn goes into the hands of the other person. With the, so, the wound that has been contaminated with saliva or feces, burns, crush injuries, wounds that include dead tissue and puncture wounds. These are the wounds which are required vaccination more urgently. There are various risk factors. So, the most important factor that is causing is not keeping up with the 10-year booster schedule. Cuts or wounds that have been exposed to soil or manure. A foreign body in a wound, these are the another risk factor. Patient has immunosuppressant medical conditions, another risk factor. Diabetics having infected skin lesions. Infants who have having infected umbilical cord in a mother who is not fully vaccinated. And shared needles for illicit drug use. So these are various risk factors in which people can develop tetanus with more susceptibility. When you visit a 
doctor if you have tetanus. Well then, if you have a simple clean wound and you have taken a vaccination less than 10 years, then you require home treatment. However, you seek medical advice whenever injection tetanus toxoid was given more than 10 years ago. You are not sure of your last injection tetanus toxoid. You have a puncture wound, foreign object, deep cut or animal bite or wound is contaminated with dirt, soil, feces, rust or saliva as I mentioned earlier. Do not use tetanus toxoid for treatment of tetanus. Tetanus treatment is a separate chapter itself. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to like the video. Feel free to give comments. Please subscribe to the channel and share the link with your friends. Thank you once again.